Hello, I'm Matt Matthews, and today I'm bringing you all of the hot news, warm off the press, pressing down warmly. There's a lot of things going on in the world, and what's happened today, you won't believe it. The members of parliament, I'm just getting this in now, in through my finger into my ear, members of parliament have been turned into sheep. That's correct. Members of parliament have been turned into literal sheep. It's not an allegory. It's actually happened. We're going to go over to our political correspondent right now. Hello, I'm standing right here by the replacement Big Ben and it is absolutely pandemonium outside the Houses of Commons. Unfortunately, the police have tried to round up all the MPs that have been turned into sheep, but counting them has put them all to sleep. Well, that's terrible news. And I've, oh, it looks like we've got one of those sheep here in the studio. Uh, would you mind telling me, uh, your honourable whatever you may be, what what caused this to happen? It's a sheep. It's not answering me. It's still going. So, uh, man in the field there, <laughs> if you'll excuse the pun, would you mind telling me, will business be continuing as usual now that all of our members of parliament are mutton? Well, business will continue on pretty much as, as it was before. MPs are a spineless bunch and have always been known to follow the leader, not really sticking up for themselves or their own principles, rather just trying to stay alive and not put their head above the parapet. So we're not looking at a huge change. Uh, I mean, uh, there's some journalists are already getting involved. The Sun newspaper starts its news line with, are you kidding me? Uh, the uh, the new uh, the uh, FT is starting with uh, the Boris Johnson tries to ram through new legislation. Uh, the whole thing's just looking a little bit woolly, says the Daily Express. Well, we're certainly in a bad situation. OK, so I'm going to go over to someone else now because we've actually had brand new information. Turns out the animal metamorphoses, metamorphoses, doesn't matter, have not finished. Everyone now has crab hands. I can feel mine changing as we speak. I'm going to go over to Derek who will be able to tell us a bit more about this. Now, Derek is our medical correspondent. Derek, what's going on with the crabby, crabby hands? I'm down here on the front lines in Bournemouth, where children have been in uh, crabbing in rock pools and pulling out entire human bodies by their hands, their hideous crab hands. It's shocking for the children involved. Many have fainted. This is very upsetting news indeed. And are we thinking this is going to be a permanent change? Or is it just temporary crabbing? Put it this way. I don't want to show you what's underneath these gloves. I mean, that you never do. You never, ever do. So, one final bit of conversation we have before I head on over to my bed sit. We're going to go over to the fucking barcode. <laughs> it's me! The fucking barcode! All right! <laughs> fucking barcode is my name, and I do sports for the game. We've had some serious games going on in football. Uh, it's been a great thing to watch because the goalkeeper has crab hands, so he's been popping the ball whenever he grabs it with his crab hands. And also, there are now all, uh, members of parliament are sheep, and they've been watching the, the football. Uh, that hasn't really changed much. Okay, can I ask who hired you here and why are you here and will you be staying? Fucking barcode! Okay, it looks like we have a trespasser, so I'm going to go and rugby tackle him. The crabs are still loose. It's getting stronger. The metamorphosis is getting stronger. It's getting, getting. Okay, he's going to die. And then back to the first guy as well, because why not? Oh, sorry. I thought I was done. I'm, I'm already in bed. <laughs> he's in bed. I'll go join him. Good night, everyone. Deal with the world as best you can.